Um, I'll go in here. So we figure that business out. He's only got this one patch of wood, really, but it's pretty safe, I guess. Hera in red has kind of a back everything. Pretty good map again. Definitely a um, probably a Drush fast castle map. Would feel a little safer with the stones back behind the TC, but hey, for regular era, this is definitely a good map. Like, just two tiles that's walled. Some tiles here and here. Or, if I was a boss and was actually paying attention. Oh, he's going to put his lumber camp here. Yeah, I was thinking even just walling to the TC from like here to the TC, here to the TC would be better. Mm, yep. Spring two forward stones. Here's not going to forward though. And given the maps, I don't think spring will forward. So it looks like another scout. Well, I say that, and Hera didn't go scouts last game, but it looks like they're both going to go scouts hey, this game. Wake up. And. How do I do this? I don't know how to do this. Open text chat. Okay. Boar coming in. Come on in, Boar. This is so weird after watching so many games of StarCraft 2 the past week. Because it's nuts. Like, you're putting down your your third base at, like, the three-minute mark with Zerg. So, like, already they, it's almost, like, three TCs. And then I'm looking to throw my fourth down at the six-minute mark. And it's already going into late game. And I'm like, oh, I should be doing something. Like, stuff should be going on. And, like... Yeah, it feels so weird. <laughs> the game kind of develops in this. Um, Spring getting close to the TC with the scout. <laughs> wow. Here we going after the deer. I don't know why he decided to do that instead of scouting Spring. You were moved. Hey. hey Tony, what's up? Not hey, much. Tony. How's it going? All right, it's going good. I hosted. I was streaming a bit, so we just transitioned over here. Okay. Uh, not a lot of people knew the games are going, so let's do this. All right. Springs trying to hurt these bills, but he lost like all his HP on his scout, which is kind of a big deal. And then um, I think Harris' base is just so good. He's already knows he's going to open scouts no matter what Spring does. And so he's going to push deer, which makes sense. Who do you think is the better map here, Hera? Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, spring, the Spring's one gold is really nice. It's like right by his TC, but yeah. <clears throat> I think Hera could go Drush Fast Castle, a lot of players would do on this map. But then for Spring's map, I don't think very many, I don't think like anyone would rush Fast Castle on his map. They're both pretty good maps though, it's not like... One's, I guess I shouldn't say way better. <coughs> but yeah, we'll see. Oh wow, here I went up on 22, I think if he could help it, he would rather go 21 pop up. Like everything's just better, you can pressure with scouts, you can click up castle earlier if you want to. You can get faster bloodlines, and you're not punished for it because you get all the deer. But uh, that's kind of a small thing. And he's going where? <laughs> he's only got three on board, and he's sending like five to wood. Hmm. Sending five to another lumber. At least it'll be safe back there, I guess. So when you have I one. The only thing is when you have like stragglers this close, it's way better just to go at the straggler and yeah, then, then you're not keep them. Wood, yeah, right? and go slower into it. Just the way everything lines up. So is he gonna oh yeah, he's even doing then? it right now as straggler. Um, yeah, he's gonna go scouts. He needs a barracks though. Oh, there it is. And he's gonna need more wood now. So this is when I panic. 
that you'll see Slam do this a lot too, like because he goes kind of a weird build, and sometimes he has to like panic throw three on stragglers. So yeah, he's doing it though. I'm just uh, toggling through the resources these players have right now. There's not an awful lot in it, even though there's like a, I guess, one build difference in off uptime. It ends up being big. It's almost like it saves you time, is what happens. Because, like, one guy doesn't need as much wood. So it kind of saves you wood, but, like, in the long run, it ends up saving you time. Like, yeah. you just get out the scouts earlier, and then you can click up castle, like, 45 seconds earlier if you push, like, three or four deer. If you both do the same build. But, like, on paper, it looks kind of even ish. So it's hard. And then also, Hero, like,. It would have looked way better if he didn't walk that distance to wood. He kind of killed the eco when he walked super far. Yeah, it was like it was like 20 seconds of idle time for five villagers. Yeah, because I always notice that. Like when I practice builds, when I start walking that far, it ends up being really, really, really bad. Yeah, he almost needed another lumber camp right up near his forward one. Yeah, and that's always kind of risky to do four, two forward lumbers, but then at the same time, if you just He's watch it with scouts. Well, though, so like, yeah. Okay, it's just going to be super safe. Harris, uh, no, scout he is scouting of all the locations he can wall, but I I don't know. Uh, I feel like with, with Spring's map, he, he could have gone, like, Spring only has one decent wood line, you know, and he could have gone a little bit more aggressive. But Spring likes to go aggressive himself and make a couple extra scouts. Yeah, I Hera's really shooting for like getting ahead in early castle. I feel like, and I don't know. I would need like some super high level like Viper Slam level player. But I feel like they would go twenty one pop scouts, push the deer, and go pressure. Because you're keeping your base safe just by pressuring them at home. And then if you don't see a scouts forever, just defend with spears. And not wall like because it doesn't mesh. Like you get earlier scouts out, and but he's not using them to pressure. Yeah. So the um, scouts are coming in now for spring. Yeah, this is just four against three, but he quickly so he's gonna get that. He's gonna get out yeah. of dodge there. Yeah. And Harris got four scouts out here in front of his stable, which is I'm not sure if he's trying to hide them. Um. So you're aware, Tony. Apparently, our voices are a bit quiet on the settings, but uh. Okay, I'll try to turn it up. Yeah. The So now Spring is invested a little bit heavier in the scouts and Hera, and Hera's just kind of walled up. I'm going to try and get archery ranges up. Join the cav archers. Potentially, you know, make some archers into crossbows and cav archers. But oh, he's going to uh, snipe a villager here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. good. The villager doesn't stand a chance. Spear is going to go down as well. He might snipe another villager here. Ah, uh, he, no, two spears. Who yeah, he, he made a lot more scouts than I actually thought. I mean, it, I was not expecting it's, him to make that many off the walls, yeah. Like, the easy way to do it is each deer is worth about, like, one free scout. So, like, you push three deer, he has, like, three more scouts than you normally have right now. Mm. And so, like, yeah. Um, the problem is, like, Spring was going to try to skip bloodlines because Hera was walled like that, but now Hera can get bloodlines and more scouts, and they'll yeah. still click up at the same time, so this is what kind of sucks. I'm surprised yeah. Hera didn't pressure earlier, though. He's doing it now, but Spring has spears out. He was able to kill a vill, but yeah. Yeah, but if you watched him, he was waiting by the gaps in his walls, and then once he was walled, he, he pressured out. Yeah, but that's not, like... Maybe just if you push deer though, you should be pressuring it though. It's too big of an advantage, I feel like, to like yeah. wait. Um, the other thing too is if you're gonna do that, I feel like it would be better to either draw fast castle or go four scouts and then up. But yeah, that's it's pretty minor. Spring's got to try to defend on now. The castle age now. Yeah, He's he is go such up a... way faster than Spring. Whoa. He has such an advantage. He had the archery ranges. He had the archery Spring ranges is, up earlier. He has already has more archers going, and his eco's uh, just, just already catered to getting the crossbows and the cav archers. And he's putting more pressure in on the gold right now as well. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, he's gonna lose like Poor all of his scouts. He might get away with a couple of scouts here, but Ooh, yeah, one oh, build nice left on four okay. HP. Really weak, some really weak ones in that group, but he did get away with them. Yeah, Hera decided to skip bloodlines too, so to get up faster. I like it. Um, yes, 
Spring's gonna be up about two and a half minutes later than him. Plus, Spring got his yeah. eco kind of, I guess, harassed, and then Harris wasn't. Besides the walling, they're both at 34 vils though. Um, that's the bad thing about doing this lightning fast click is that you're so low on bills when you click up. I still feel like, you know, by the time Hera hits the castle age, his TC is going to be creating more villagers, and now, of yeah, course, Spring is going to be idled, so, you know, it'll even out, and if anything, Hera's going to have the advantage. It'll Spring just needs like to delay now. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get any more Vil snipes like that one. <laughs> yeah, it was oh no, close. the farms, the Yeah, that's farms, really, I don't no. understand, like, why he's... No, Spring. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, man, he's losing like, a bill here, a bill there, and it's not, oh, it's just not good. It's too far away from the TC to justify, in my opinion. I'm just like, crossbows and cav archers with range are going to come out later, too, and it's not like that side of the map is even walled, so it's like... Oh, but he's... Why? He was almost in the Hera's, but Hera quick walled. Almost in with the scouts. Yeah. He, he noticed the archers leaving as well, and the power of the wildlife is actually helping Hera, or Slam, <laughs> Spring right now. Hera Slam, Spring, whatever, whoever. Well, at least yeah, Spring caught the expo. Here. But yeah, they're, they're expos now, so. so. This is the trick, just trying to delay and keep the expo off your eco. Yeah. So normally, what happens is the guy who clicked up first has a weaker eco but because Hera pushed so many deer he's, he's actually like up in eco and then pressuring like even if he didn't harass Spring's eco um so this will be this will be kinda well, tricky is he gonna get the upgrades in in time here? he's gonna have the I hill think, I think he will, he, I mean he has the hill there he yeah, did a good he will, job definitely. running around with the scouts and the Hera's oh. to uh Oh, bad fight though. Spring confident he's gonna win this. He's throwing down a TC right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. He is. Oh, I think he's got a chance here. Oh, his micro. He's just getting oh, so out no, micro. Just, he's no. got to move the vills though. He doesn't want to. Oh, okay, yeah, he can't lose any of the vills right now. Oh god. Oh, oh he's losing these villagers. Oh, Spring. He lost three villagers. He's so ten vills up. down right now. Yeah. It's huge. Got the TC got up faster. Well. Hera's not going for TC though. Yeah, knights are pretty good oh, in Hera. small numbers. Hera's dropping the second TC now at the, at the forward. Right beside the wood there. Let's see. That was probably a oh, yeah. desperate knight just to try and win that fight there. It was just too late though. <laughs> There's like no other reason to make a knight in that situation unless it's desperate, just trying to get some military out in the map and uh No, they do really they wreck in small numbers, so it was alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem now for Sing is that like his base if he attacks Hera, Hera can send a few and raid some base. But if Hera attacks Sing, there's nowhere Spring can raid. Like on Hera's base. He can't get in. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, all with the, the palisade right walls, and... once the cav archers get massed, they can take out the palisade walls pretty quickly. Like, it's pretty much just a warning for you to to say, yeah, okay, even, someone's even raiding. Past, but even like way he's walled, even if you take out a palisade wall, they'll have enough to drop a few buildings, like where the blacksmith and university yeah, is yeah. and stuff, right? Like, he'll know it's coming. I think uh, it's tough to like. Hera has a pretty decent lead right now, just because like ten bills at this point in the game is kind of important, because like no one can afford anything that they want to yet, like university, their TC, maybe a Mangonel, thumb ring, like all that stuff. Um, so I think it'll show up in like the next ten game minutes. And Spring just scouting to see what's up. He has to assume Hera's on three TC because he doesn't see a third one. And Spring yeah, going University Ballistics. Go, Spring's gonna have to, like, you know, pull this back with his military. I mean. Oh, it's mm. just. Oh, oh, he's losing a lot oh, there. Man, he's already losing. Has his... One, two, three, four for nothing. Oh. Five now. D oh. It's unfortunate. And that those cav archers can come, come up behind that wood line, too, and pester away a little bit. So, he's. And those farms still there as well. You need to be careful. He doesn't have the, the numbers to even defend there. 
Spring oils has like ballistics. The little secondary, secondary farming colonies. They always seem to backfire. You know what I mean? It's too far away. Yeah. It's yeah. I like it because like people will it's only the mill, but, yeah. like they only oh, notice here's, here's like the, the times it's good. Like they'll never notice the times like the person clicked up to castle like a minute later because like they did the double farms oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, a lot of cab archer. <laughs> this is this is over. Yeah. <laughs> Just too many cab archer in this one line. No, well the knights are coming in, but oh man. It, Harris should just focus down the bills. But Look I guess at the I'll... micro, he's running circles around him. <laughs> the he's trying to go 3 TC. The wolves attacking the bills. <laughs> yeah, this is. This is. I don't know what spring was trying. I mean. Ugh. Can't even say anything. Ring's really. gonna have no, to that's... claim the warranty on his keyboard after this match. Like, oh <laughs> god. Poor Spring. <laughs> yeah, Harris is bringing Cav Archers in from behind here. There's nothing. Look, he... he can't reboom into this. He's he's that half the villagers. Engagement, that whole engagement. He took out what 20 units, and he's lost what three or four Cav Archers. Yeah. It's it over. looks like they have thumb this... ring. Oh. I just want to check. I think for yeah, thumb yeah. ring. Hair is a big fan of Thumbring. Thumbring, but no ballistics. Uh, he oh, he did ballistics have ballistics at the end. Yeah. He did have ballistics. Who? Spring had Spring, ballistics yeah. as well, yeah. Spring got ballistics before that fight. It was like immediately after he lost like four or five units to in with like the trailing army, if that makes any sense. So 